So it begins four years ago, completely different. Flew to Guyana via Trinidad, across the jungle, to the Brazilian border, across the Brazilian border down to, to I can't even remember where the place was called, um, Boa Vista. And then I got a plane from Boa Vista, eventually after staying there for two days, mad, mad trip for England's first game. This one's a little bit more chilled out. It's the beginning of the World Cup now. The first match of the World Cup is coming from England and playing Tunisia and Volgograd. We're getting the train up to Leeds here. We're going from Leeds to Thessalonica, to Thessalonica straight to Volgograd. It's still going to be a big journey. I'm really looking forward to it. Russia, here we come. So 24 hours, 24 hours later it's taken us. King's Cross, one minute. Now we're here finally in Volgograd. Picked up with two characters on the way. Leeds United fans. Oh, 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 behind, but no, they're all good, good guys. We had a good night in Thessalonica, didn't we? We had a very good night in Thessalonica. We're now feeling it because now we've been travelling 24 hours. It's quite mad. But anyway, listen, we're here in Volgograd now. It's another day to go, so we're going to head into town and see what's going on. <laughs> So I had a few hours to recuperate a little bit, the kit after that long journey and uh, just had a bit of walk around town, it's pretty, pretty mellow, it has to be said actually, really quite sleepy, no signs of no bad vibes at all, people are really friendly, uh, put down to the old fan fest today as well, just now, um, in between games, so it's a little bit quiet, but still people, lots of people milling around, and I don't normally do fan fest because they're a bit rubbish and also they serve bread rice and beer, that doesn't really do it for me, but I have to admit I'm pretty impressed by this fan fest. I'm going to probably just have a little mosey around see what's going on. Okay, the Russian boys in the house, but you love, what team do you love? Uh, England. And why is that then? Who do you know? Uh, Wayne Rooney. Who else? Who else? Uh, Ryan Giggs. Who else? Another player, another one. Uh, uh, Hurricane. Hurricane, <laughs> okay. Who else? Uh, Joe Hart. Okay, listen. You know your stuff, you know your English stuff. And you like? Uh, I like England. Yeah? England super. Okay. Wayne Rooney, my, uh, my, uh, favorite. my favorite, yeah. Okay. And you please, England fans come down here to Russia to visit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have a good time? Yeah, England super. <laughs> okay, have a good one. So I'm in Russia and Elizabeth has taken good care of me. Elizabeth, are you, how happy are you to have English people come to Volgograd? Yes, I'm happy. <laughs> because uh, some people come, then uh, we make uh, some friend, friendship and uh, it's good for the, for the world, it's good for us, for you, for everybody. One thing, there's one thing you really, really wanted me to bring over from England, what was that? Yes, I'm ask, uh, I, I was asked tea, England tea, What's English that? tea. Why is that? Why? Uh, because it's good quality. Because I like uh, good quality tea and uh, I like black tea. Uh, so... So you got tea? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I got tea. And you've been showing me all the sites. I mean, this here is, what's this? What's that there? What is this? Uh, this is uh, memorial uh, uh, for Thai soldiers uh, in uh, two war. Two world wars. Yes. Okay. Two world wars. And what's behind us? What's this down that way? Uh, behind me is the uh, river Volga and the uh, fan zone of uh, football. Football fan zone. And we we'll go yes. there tomorrow. Definitely, yes. yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go and check out what else is happening in Volgograd, yeah? Let's yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> so Deji, how does it go? Obazi ba. Inside the net. <laughs> Today is it gonna be Obazi ba or inside the net? It's gonna be inside the net. It's <laughs> inside the net, please. That's right. So listen Deji, you've lived in Volgograd for some time. Yeah, for six years. And what's the vibe? The vibe, everything is cool, you can see. Everybody move free movements, you know. Really? What I read on news, what I read on maybe BBC or CNL is really is really damaging things, you know? But really but when you come here you can see things 
things are different, you know, not the way you see things or not the way you hear or listen on BBC or on CNN or whatever. So you, I mean, you've lived there for six years. Have you had any problems? Have no you had any problems? No problems. No interrupt. Nothing. Nobody insulting you in the road. You can move freely. And you can talk freely, and you can also make friends, meet with friends. So do you think English people have been a little bit over cautious in their attitude, like not? Because a lot of people haven't come to Russia because they were scared. No, I, I should advise a lot of people to come. If England are going to qualify for the quarterfinals, I hope I wish you, I wish you guys good luck and I hope you guys qualify for the quarterfinals. And I want more England, more England fans to come, so they can see, they can verify and see things by, them, by themselves. Okay, listen, you never know, man. If we qualify, ah. out the knockouts, we'll be here, man. But you got to concentrate on getting it inside the net and not yeah, 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 the bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody buy inside the net. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wicked man. All right, nice one. Take it easy. <laughs> Are here. The Russians, the Russians are here. <laughs> and listen, we're here having a, it's a, having a wicked time in Russia here. Thank you very much for your hospitality. We, we're still going to carry on for tonight. But I have to say, if you haven't been to this country, you must come here because there's a proper laugh actually. It's all good. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. yeah.
So, England play Tunisia tomorrow. Are you nervous? I'm not nervous, I'm not just excited. And I hope you will win. We are not the biggest uh, team in the world, but we have a good team. Actually, we lost our uh, best player. Yeah, we found ourselves to do our best. And, uh, hope, uh, I think it would be hard if we, if we can win, but the goal would be good for, 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 for the field. School prediction, Mr. Tunisia man. Yeah. Ah, school prediction. Uh, let's say one more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, Tunisia man. Thank He's covered it. Yeah. <laughs> We can see here some regrets, no regrets, and we We've got Brentford here, we've got Arsenal here, we've got all sorts of characters here, and we're going to do something. I was a bit nervous about coming out of this World Cup, but the Russian, the Russian people have been absolutely spot on. Friendly, nice, lovely. I've got so many people, I don't even want to hug anymore. <laughs> So listen, this is from Russia for Arsenal, thanks to London, for England tomorrow. I think England are going to do it for you and stay here for a long time. Come on, England! Come on, England! So, Robbie in the house. We're here, mate. That's right, man. Come to see the English game. Are you feeling the vibes? I'm feeling the vibes. I've been here since Thursday. I've been having a great time. People have been putting the fear of God out of us. They said to, they said to us, Billy, Robbie, you must not come to Russia. Yeah. All right. No, so we, we, I, I came out here. I came out here in March when Arsenal awesome played CSK in Moscow, and the people were so friendly and the vibes were so good that convinced me the world was going to be right. And so far, so good. Not even a hint of trouble. Well organised. Um, it's like the stage is with me. It's like the stage is with So listen, perfect right here. Brazil, they ain't done the business. Germany, they ain't done the business. The door is open for England. They need. Shh. I'm gonna say a word, man. The biggest cross tomorrow. Tunisia, we're doing the business. Come on, England. So England playing Tunisia tonight and I've got Prince, Nigerian, Russian and living out here and feeling the vibes and 
Uh, Anna. Anna as well, Norwegian but Russian feeling the vibe. Tell you something. Yeah, we're looking forward to the game and uh, hopefully uh, England wins tonight. <laughs> so we'll uh, just uh, have a couple of uh, ice up with Arsenal and uh, looking forward to uh, putting the game together too. Okay. okay. That's that's good. Good prediction. Uh, I think it's going to be 3-1. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Right. Have a good one, man. Okay. Yeah, cheers. Okay, so. So, I don't even know how long I've been here, it's quite mad, but two days, what, three days later, and it's been a brilliant trip. Finally here, Volgograd Stadium, um, the Russian host has been great, um, did all sorts of TV today, I laid a wreath with the FA chairman, Greg Clark, um, I did breakfast with my, my host, you know, Liz, Elizabeth as well, which has been wicked. And I'm pretty knackered here, but we're at the stadium, it's about 7 o'clock. I think Belgium have won the first game, or they're winning the game at the moment now. So we need to get a result against Tunisia. But I'm really looking forward to getting into this stadium, brand new stadium. Look, the Tunisians behind me, they're absolutely potty for it. But listen, it doesn't matter, the first game of the World Cup, everyone's potty for it. But let's see how we go. But looking forward to this one. Let's go.